Hey everybody and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam and we are on episode 156. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the Jammer module. Uh, the Jammer module is a nice easy way to hide and show different um, display items on your node um, add form or node edit form. For example, if we hop over here, uh, what I'm referring to are the menu, revision, URL settings um, on different node content types. The uh, big use case for this, of course, is when you're building a website for a user, they can um, get confused when they see different sections like this and ask you, you know, what do all these mean? How do I configure them? Or you, what typically happens, right, is you just breeze over them and say, don't worry about them. Well, this module eliminates that those two issues and just doesn't show them to that user. I mean, it can be configurable on different roles, too, so it's a nice way to um, show content to certain people or show sections to certain people, but not others. Um, before we jump into the module, real quick, couple housekeeping things. Um, you can follow myself on Twitter at Adam Laring, or you can follow Shane at smthomas3. I um, appreciate either of those follows. Also, if you've been part of the uh, Code Karate newsletter, you've probably seen a couple of emails about our new Kickstarter campaign with our other company, Stemfuse. Um, really appreciate any other help you guys could get or check out the video there. Um, four days left and you still have about, what is that, $8,000 to go. So anything you could do would help. Uh, appreciate that. Also, we have been promising a new uh, ebook. This is coming. It is within the next week. By next week, we will have our first ever Code Karate ebook. I'm um, just staying in touch on those things as well as some other little things we're working on. Um, go ahead and sign up on the sign up to the newsletter on CodeKarate.com. Appreciate that as well. All right, let's jump into the Jammer module. So first thing we want to do is we want to get that module enabled. So we're going to hop over here and turn the module on. I just see there's five different settings here for the Jammer module. Um, the ones we're going to worry about today are the content form mod, content form Jammer, and generic Jammer. Um, those provide almost all the functionality of the Jammer module, in my opinion. But as you can see, there's also some stuff that you can fiddle around with um, to hide and show different things as well. So once once that gets turned on here, we'll head over to the um, module configuration page. And, oops, that one. Right there under Jammer. And then, as you can see here, there is a list of all the different things we can display to our users or not to display. And inside each of these um, text, text areas, there's different, um, all our different content types that we can use to hide and show based on. So, um, also at the bottom here is kind of a nice little feature, is you can actually do some hiding and showing with preview, submit, and delete buttons. So if you didn't want your users to be able to delete content, um, you can restrict that um, by selecting stuff within that field. Um, for the demo here today, we're gonna just gonna do the we'll do the menu and the author. Um, one thing too is obviously you can select multiple by holding down the command key on Mac or uh, Control on Windows or Linux machines um, to select multiple content types. So anyway, as you see here, I selected a basic page for both. Um, removing the menu options and removing the author options. So you should be able, in theory, right, what we'll hope to see is we should be able to see the author options and the menu options on um, basic page content type. So we'll go down here, make sure to save. And then here's my basic page node add for that content type. And when I reload, you'll see that I still see the menu and author, which would lead, of course, you to believe that it's not working. But what the Jammer module does is it works with user permissions um, to hide and show different sections. So when we load the permissions page, and then go to the Jammer section, you'll see that there is um, override capabilities built within the permissions. So if we see here it says, Override Jammer to allow users to view body options. And you can see administration role is checked, and that's what I'm on right now. So I need to uncheck that and say, don't override. Use what's in the 
module configuration page. So I want to click author off and menu off since those are the two that I selected over there. So now what should happen is, is I should not be able to see the author and menu options um, within that content type. So I save and then if I go over here and I refresh again, you'll see that it still remains, which is obviously not what we would expect to see. But there is one caveat here. I am actually user one on my Drupal site, and obviously user one always sees everything within the site. So it doesn't, it kind of overrides all permissions. Um, but I did select authenticated not to see that. So I do have another authenticated user on this side. And if I go ahead and refresh this page, you'll see that I no longer can see the menu and author sections down here. As, even though I'm still authenticated user, I'm just the second user on the site, so I, um, I am bound by the permissions and the module configuration of the Jammer module. So again, really simple module, not too much going on there, but actually kind of a powerful one. We stumbled across this one um, and found some use in it. The obviously the biggest use case again is you know for using it with um, clients that don't aren't familiar with the Drupal interface and all the quirks about it. So it's a good way to limit options, which is never a bad thing when dealing with uh, people who are not as experienced with Drupal. Um, like I said, you can play around with a few other things as well with the Jammer module. There is a generic Jammer here. You can remove form items, so you could remove different fields on a web form. I um, just got to grab the form ID and element ID, um, which are provided on that form. Um, and also, you can play around with those other different uh, feed and messages and all that stuff as well. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, again, make sure to check out codecarate.com for all of our other posts and stuff like that that's going on. And make sure we really appreciate it if you could check out our Kickstarter campaign. Um, four days left to go. Really would like this big push um, to get that out there. Um, appreciate all the help you could do. Thanks a lot, guys, and we will talk to you next time.